What's going on you guys? Anime Dipper back here with another video for your viewing pleasure. Um, so this is just something I wanted to try out. Um, I've never really seen anybody go through the whole process of when they get the game at a midnight release, they freaking bring it home, let it load up, and then just start playing it. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys today. Um, so it's not going to be really that entertaining, uh, uh, par se, until it gets to the gameplay. But, just going to let y'all guys know, I think it was pretty cool uh, just to get what we got and do what we did. So, that's about all I've got. We're going to head it over to where I was actually uh, going to GameStop. So, I'll see y'all here in a little bit. Uh, right now, I'm going to my local everyday GameStop for a 11 o'clock release of Dark Souls 3. And it's going to be freaking awesome. I've been waiting for Dark Souls 3 for a long time. And I thought I'd share what I usually go through when I freaking go for a, one of these midnight releases. And we're going to go over there. It's it's about a little bit past 10.30. Uh, so we're headed there a little bit early just to see if there's a line. Uh, and if there is a line, then we're just going to have to wait through it. And I hope my camera actually uh, lasts a little bit because it doesn't really like to keep a charge on for that long. So we'll see what happens and we will, I will turn back the camera back on once I get there, so we'll be right back. So here it is, you guys, Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's actually got the, uh, um, I don't know what kind to call this, um, a raised case so that it actually feels really nice. My fingerprints are getting all over it, but let's go ahead and open it. And here's the back of it if you guys wanted to see that. And before I open this, let's go ahead and open the uh, extra keychain that they gave us at the pre-release at GameStop. Oh, oh shit, hit the camera. Here it is. Uh, it's actually a bonfire. Come on, focus. Let's get that light in there. It's got a good amount of detail into it, if y'all guys can see it. So I'll be putting that on my keychain. And now, ah, battery, random battery. We open the box. All right, so it has the official soundtrack as well as the game. Boom, soundtrack which I'm probably going to be listening to a lot because I love the Dark Souls music itself. And arm yourself with knowledge with the the guide. I didn't buy the guide because I usually don't like buying guides um, just to do that. And then you got the starter's guide with a free, free digital exclusive. Um, let's see. Where is it? Okay, my exclusive is right there, so I'm going to keep that for myself. And let's go ahead and pop this bad boy into the PlayStation. Let's take the division. Why would I be playing the division? <clears throat> and we're waiting. Well, it looks like we're going to be waiting, guys. This motherfucker says it's going to be uploading for four hours. Switch to three. Focus. Three. There it is. It shouldn't take too long, so we'll see y'all guys here in a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump right into Dark Souls. Uh, I sped up the whole uh, character creation process so that I wouldn't bore you with that. So I just put, chose the knight to uh, be able to uh, tank everything. I chose the life ring because it gives you extra life. Um, I didn't really with the facial features that guy however looked kind of funky um, I made him burly young and I made him really hairy uh, just to see what happens and now we're jumping right into the game and let's do this you guys okay here we are started at the cemetery of ash I again sped all this up because it's just um, little markings on the ground telling you how to play and how to fight and everything else <coughs> just to see how your class actually works really well um, 
find your items and pick them up. Uh, just running around, finding enemies to fight. And, I mean, that's pretty much it uh, until you get to your first bonfire, which should be here in the next couple of minutes. I tried to do a freaking uh, quick kill there, but it didn't work. And I'm about to... I think this is the part where I'm about to get gang raped here. No, not not here. Not here. Okay, so... Oh, this is where I almost got gang raped. And I was trying to figure out how to use my items here so because I needed to heal up and I just couldn't really do it. Uh, and the reason I'm narrating over this is because the audio that I tried to record kind of got overpowered by the music. And until the first boss fight, really, you couldn't really hear me. So here we are at our first bonfire. Alright, good stuff so far. Alright, I think this night freaking wall dash and jump. Oh, was I supposed to be stuck? Alright, let me try that again. While falling, plunging attack. Okay, so after that little quick kill again, I just um, decided to speed up again because I just... I wanted to try and get that item so freaking bad that I just kept doing it over and over again. And it... I mean, it just got onto me, and I mean, I tried at least three or four times in this freaking take right here, and I was trying to figure out how to use my items at the same time, and I finally just ended up saying, screw it. Screw it. already. This is not going to be good. Alright, so let's... Okay, so here we are at our first boss fight. Um, again, the music got kind of distorted because it was kind of loud and my audio recording kind of got uh, fucked up with it. But mostly all I was saying in this one was uh, dodge um, from the famous words of Piccolo from uh, Team Four Star uh, Dragon Ball Abridged. I just constantly said dodge and it didn't work half of the time for me because I nearly died a few times. And oh god, like this, this boss was actually not that hard come to think of it, but... I was just trying to figure out the mechanics of everything and it just didn't work out for me. So, I mean, it's it was a pretty fun boss and I'm just gonna cut it off here and freaking give it back to uh, the little bit of music that was in here.
we'll come back for round two. So I hope you guys enjoyed that first look into uh, Dark Souls 3. I know I'm a kind of a few days late from the actual release date of it. Um, just trying to edit all this and trying to do a couple of other things. And I'm not going to lie, I did get into the Dark Souls uh, freaking rage mode where I had to finish a few bosses off before I could actually quit the game. But if you guys did enjoy this um, and y'all want to see more content from it, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be able to do more gameplay of this. I absolutely am going to continue playing this and I'm going to do probably a couple of playthroughs of this with different classes just to freaking see if I can actually um, do a lot better than I am right now because right now I'm stuck on the night set uh, just trying to get through the game on the first run and let me tell you it is freaking it's a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be but anyways you guys um, as always <coughs> when I try and do these um, I actually want to say that this game is worth buying brand new um, it's never a dull moment with Dark Souls, and plus you, if you bought it brand new with the pre-order, you get the soundtrack with it, and you also get a walkthrough with the, uh, first boss, which I didn't use, because I ain't no pussy like that. But, I mean, the only downside is, if you are not into Dark Souls, you are not going to like this kind of game. Like, I got frustrated with Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne really, really easy, but Dark Souls 3 really has brought it up a little bit where I'm not getting as frustrated um, there was one boss I was stuck on for a long time and I'm not gonna spoil any details from you guys that y'all probably have already looked on YouTube and saw other youtubers playing it but it took me like 20 times to actually beat this guy I wasted so many souls just trying to fight this one boss and it was just it was nerve-wracking so uh, again you guys hopefully if y'all guys like this kind of thing um, I'll be sure to make more content of it, and we'll see how it goes in the future. Um, I don't really want to do a playthrough of this, but there will be more Dark Souls content. And also, um, the giveaway is still going on for the uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens um, uh, Digital HD Collection. Nobody's actually commented on this yet, so um, go ahead, get your comments in, and uh, subscribe and like my Twitter. And that's all you have to do to freaking be able to enter to win. And that's all. That's all I've got for today, you guys. Um, thanks for coming out once again. As always, I'm the Anime Dipper. Stay awesome.